Dear students, today we will discuss canal system in sponges. Water vascular system. Dear students, aquiferous system in sponges, phylum porifera. Very important topic for BSc student. This is final exam topic. Dear students, note down. ये जितने भी हमने नोट्स बनाए हैं, उन सब की पीडीएफ फाइल हमने वीडियो लेक्चर उसके डिस्क्रिप्शन में अपलोड कर दी। सभी बच्चे बेटे अपने नोट्स डाउनलोड कर लें। Dear students, today's lecture very important for BSc student. This is final exam topic. That is canal system in sponges. Through this canal system, water flows in the body of sponges. And dear students, this canal system, which is a characteristic feature of all sponges, that is also named, not down, that is also named aquiferous system because water current, water flows through the body and that water brings gases, nutrients and reproductive units, gametes, sperms. So this water current which enters inside the body that is nutritive come respiratory come reproductive water current. Dear students, this canal system, it is a system of intercommunicating cavities and canals present inside the body of sponges. Very characteristic feature of sponges. And this canal system having three types. Generally, in all sponges, three main types of canal systems. First type is eschentype, second is cycantype, third is leucantype. First of all, eschentype, eschenoid canal system. Eschentype, that is the simplest type of canal system. Ye dekh rahe bacho, diagram se very clear. Eschentype, eschenoid type, it is commonly found in the members of the sponges which belong to order. Homocela, Eschnosa, Homocela, Eschnosa. Example very clear, Olenthes and Leucosolenia. Ek ek point note karenge bachcho, examples. Order hamne ka bachcho, Homocela, Eschnosa, of class Calcarea, Calcispongiae. Example very clear, Olenthes, Leucosolenia. That is Eschen type, which is simplest type of canal system. In this canal system, ये देखें बच्चों, body wall. This body wall is, it is thin. The body wall remains unfolded. Very simple body. And this body wall is lined by two cellular layers. This outer cellular layer, it is pinacoderm. It is dermal layer. And this inner lining, this inner lining is, this layer is conoderm. It is gastral layer and in this layer, inner layer having flagellated special type of conocytes, cholarces. The beating of flagella of these conocytes maintain a water current. It means this entire body cavity that is spongocele and this spongocele is lined by the flagellated conocytes. Means conocytes, particularly in this Eschen type of canal system. All competitive exam students, be careful, not down all these important points. These conocytes line the conoderm or the gastral layer. Kya kam ne? Eschen type, eschenoid canal system, that is simplest type of canal system. That is a characteristic feature of order. Homocela, Eschnosa, which belong to glass calcarea, calcispongiae. Example very clear, all in Thessalucosolinia. In this system, the body wall remains thin. It is unfolded and two layers. This outer is, this one is pinacoderm, dermal layer. And this body wall possesses numerous minute pores. These are dermal pores. Through these dermal pores, water enters. In this main body cavity, that is spongocele, and through this spongocele, what leaves the body, this wide aperture, it is osculum. It means root of water flow. Very simple, very simple. 
In this body cavity, this dermal pores, ostia, means mouth, through which water enters, incoming water, water current enters. In this body cavity, that is spongoseal, and this, through this spongoseal, water leaves the body via this wide aperture, it is osculum. This is the root, outside water, then dermal ostia, outside water, yaha se bacho enter karega, dermal ostia, then the main body cavity, this one is spongoseal, and this spongoseal is lined by conocyte flagellated collar cells. And the spongoseal, through osculum, water leaves the body. Simplest type, that is ascan type, ascanoid type. Second type of canal system, it is cycon type, cycnoid canal system. First, I'm going to discuss what is ascan, ascanoid type. This one is cyclonoid canal system. This is simplest type. It is more complex than ascanoid canal system. And this cyclonoid canal system means this one is, it is this system is derived from this type, ascan type. It means, this spongoseal, in case of cyclonoid type, this spongoseal grows outwardly. It invaginates. It produces finger-like blind projections. And these finger-like projections, these are radial canals. It means, in case of this cyclonoid canal system, the body wall becomes folded. It becomes complex. This entire system, cyclonoid canal system, is derived from this simplest ascanoid type. Here, the body cavity gets reduced. Means the main body cavity, that spongoseal, that gets reduced. And it grows outwardly. Means these out projections. And these projections become radial canals. This radial cavity grows outwardly. Evacuation. And these projections produce these blind canals. These are radial canals. Not down competition students. In this cyclonoid canal system, the radial canals are lined by conocytes flagellated cells. But in this ascan type, these conocytes are lined the spongoseal. It is a characteristic feature of older homocela ascanosa. And this is a characteristic feature of older heterocela. Or cyclonosa. Class calcarea. Same class calcarea. Means the order is changed. Both ascan type and cyclonoid are characteristic feature of class calcarea. But here the order is ascanosa, homocela, and in this cyclonoid, the order is heterocela, cyclonosa. The other difference is the spongoseal, that is a wide space. But in this cyclonoid, this spongoseal gets reduced, it becomes narrow and it shows some foldings. In this cyclonoid canal system, the outgrowths, the finger like projections, imagination that gives rise. Radial canals. Here spongoseal is lined by conocyte, but here radial canals are lined by conocytes. It means the spongoseal, spongoseal is lined by pinacoda. And this cyclonoid canal system is further divided into three grades. Grade first, that is simplest type of Cycon canal system. In this, in this grade first, these radial canals are directly come in contact of water. Means these radial canals are surrounded by water on all sides. Means this water enters in these radial canals via dermal pores, ostia. And these radial canals open in this spongoseal 
through internal ostia and this sponge cell opens out through oscula means root of water flow that becomes outside water this outside water through these dermal ostia enters water in these radial canals and radial canals open in this cavity that is spongocele via internal ostia and this spongocele opens outside through this aperture it is oscula dear students in next lecture means tomorrow we will discuss more grades of psychonoid canal system thank you